I'm going to show you how to use Memex so you can get the most out of every project you build with it. This video will help you build your first project from scratch fast. So the very first thing you want to do when you sign into Memex is go to the message input and make sure you're in the plan mode. From there, simply describe what you want to build. Because we're in planning mode, you don't need to be overly specific. Memex's planning agent will help you work through the details. I'll ask Memex to clone my Substack and create a Windows 95 version of it, just for an example. In planning mode, it will gather research and ask you some questions. Then it has a few questions and it makes some proposals on how we can approach this with trade-offs for each. Let me add some color to the way you should think about Memex's recommendations. So first off, if you don't have an opinion about the technology stack, accept its suggestions. We've tuned it to make technology choices that will help you get to a working build faster. Second, if you do have opinions about the technology stack, tell Memex. It can build any technology stack, iOS, Android, data pipelines, Python, you name it, it can build it. Memex is pound for pound competitive with agentic coding tools for engineers. Third, opt for simplicity. You'll get to a working version much faster, and from there, you can iteratively add all of the features that you have in mind. Once Memex is done asking questions and doing research, it creates a plan. From there, you can either accept it and start building, or give it feedback on how you would like it to update the plan. I'll click Build Here and let it start working. As it's building, let's check out some of the features available to you in Memex. Now, first off, this session in which Memex is building is called a conversation, and conversations live in a project. Projects are stored on your computer. If I click on the Files tab here, I can see all of the files that Memex is creating on my computer as it builds. Memex will also create its own terminal sessions that it can use to autonomously interact with your computer. This is unique to Memex. It uses these sessions to do things like installing developer tools and running your app. In general, it can do all the things with your computer that a human software engineer would be able to do. Okay, now back to the build. In this case, Memex built for about eight minutes and produced a first working version of what I asked for. Let's check it out. You can see that it got the app working and the styling looks pretty good, but it didn't actually include any post content from my Substack. So I have two options to start iterating on this here. Option one, I can submit a new prompt and instruct it to fetch my real posts and include them in the site. Or option two, I can use the built-in Memex checkpoints to revert back to when we said let's build this, update that prompt to say something like let's build this and make sure to include my real post content, and then try again. Since the app is fully functional and I like the styling, I decided to take option one and ask it to fetch my real posts. Okay, and with that, you're off to the races. For support, join our Discord community where we actively help our users build and let us know what you create. We can't wait to hear about it. Happy building.